Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've been uh, Pierce County Sheriff's Deputy for just a little over six years, about five of it in the city of Lakewood. Late last year I was activated for a, about a year and uh, sent over to the Middle East to support the global war on terrorism. And one of the things that I did was because the department was so supportive, uh, I carried a U.S. flag into one of the countries I went into and brought it back and presented it to the police chief and it's hanging in the precinct. Where is he at right now? Northbound approaching 84th Lane 2. I'll wait for you. Um, there's a vehicle up here. I noticed a driver from earlier. He's got a possible felony warrant. We contacted him earlier in the evening and he apparently lied to us about his name so we're going to conduct a traffic stop on him and see what we can come up with. 363 County Traffic. Parking lot of the B and I on Adam. I didn't. Here's the deal, man. Okay, we talked to you earlier. Yeah. Put your hands on the steering wheel for me. Okay. When my partner ran you, came back as no computer record. Then, it, okay, wait a minute. Let me talk to you first. Through further investigation, after we left you, records got a hold of him saying that you might be under another name, okay? So, what I want you to do is put the cigarette out, and then we're gonna come out and we're gonna talk. All right, when you step out of the vehicle, keep your hands where I can see them and move to the back of the vehicle. Okay, come on back here. Okay, turn around, turn around, put your hands on the vehicle. 30 feet for me, I'm gonna detain you right now. Okay. And then we're gonna find out who you really are. Let me have your other hand. Oh, you got an idea? Come on back here. You don't? Okay. I didn't lie to you. I gave you my name. You're talking about Darren. Is Darren your brother? That's your brother? Yeah. Okay. What's your first name? David. Okay, I'm still giving you the benefit of that. We're going to pull up booking photos and find out who you are. Okay? He's my twin brother. Your twin brother. Okay. We'll find out. If it's your brother that has the warrant, then we'll deal with it. The person matching the description of the warrant looks just like you with the tattoos. Hey, Joe. Yeah. Why don't you look at that picture on my computer screen? Did you have him tell me I one detained? No, go ahead. 363 County, one detained. You want to take him back there and just take a quick look? Have a seat in here for a second. Wait a minute, hold tight here. Let's take a look out here. I know, I'm just going to sit down. Sit down. He says his brother. Okay, according to the warrant. Look at the mark. Okay, you're going to jail for felony warrant for obstructing a police officer. I'm Darren. You're Darren. So we're going to end playing this game now, and you're telling me that this is you. Okay, what's the deal? Man, I've been fighting, got my kids back. Did you know you had a felony warrant? No, I didn't. Who's that gal in the car with you? I don't know her name. Where Dave, did you... Dave just asked me to give her a ride. Where did you meet her at? At New York, Dave's. Okay. All right, watch your head. So much for having a twin brother. I'm going to talk to her again. Let's pull her out, put her on your bumper until we figure out who she is. I'm going to search the vehicle. Go and turn around, put your hands on your back. I'm just detaining you right now. Is there anything in the car that belongs to you that we should know about? Step back. You're not under arrest. You're just being detained until we figure out who you are. Okay? That's your purse right there, right? That's your cousin's purse? Are you telling me that because there might be something in there that shouldn't be? Like what? Go ahead and turn around. Have a seat. Turn around. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's a... We're going to find it anyway, so... I know. Go ahead. Tell me what's in it. There's a rig in there. Okay. Careful in the purse. Why? It's a rig. What? You get stuck with a needle, maybe. What? What do you have There's on There's a her? rig in there. Okay. 
Did she tell you that? Yeah. This one might be blank. I'm not really sure. No, it looks like there's a little bit of blood draw in there, so there's some type of material in there. There's probably some more stuff in here. John, I've got an ID on her, too. What did she give you? Let's see that one. I don't know if this is her or not. This looks a little bit different. Is that her? Look, Tracy. Oh, look. Look at that. Two different names. Same picture. Two different dates of birth. Two different names. Two addresses. Let me go talk to her real quick. Wait a minute. Here. Here's a... She's got one, five IDs under the same name. Different driver's licenses and different dates of birth. Each with a different booking number under, at the Pierce County Jail. So, this is going to keep... Just keep going. Come on out for a second. Hop on out. You want to talk to me about these? Well, it's not a joke because... Wait a minute, stop. Two of these IDs you actually have Washington State IDs for with your photo. I know. So it's not a joke. Know, okay, what's up with these? Those, me that. Okay, those are pretty good IDs. What's up with the rest of these? Do you have Washington State IDs under all these pictures? Because no, it sure looks like you do. Yeah. Why do you have multiple IDs? You trying to hide something? I have warrants. You have warrants for what? We'll find out. We'll be here all night. You failed BTC, so you have felony warrants for failing BTC for what? What type of, what type of drug? Methamphetamine. Okay, how long have you known you had the warrant for? So, are any of these actually you, minus the photo? None of these. Not one of these is you. So, you provided false information originally, right? Okay. Okay. Well, if we confirm the warrant, you're going to be going down with your partner. That's going to go into evidence. So you're going to go for the warning for obstruction, just like he is. All right? Go ahead and have a seat. Watch your head. Well, she might get a couple years in the penitentiary for this, because she's failed the drug treatment. I think that was her final straw. So she's down that road, and he's already been down that road, and neither of them know what to do to recover from it. So the cycle continues. Go ahead, give it to me. We'll take care of it. We're on our way to a residence. Uh, apparently, uh, the homeowner there has found a snake in her closet, and uh, she's called us to come down, and I guess she wants us to help her get it out of the house, uh, maybe dispose of it for her. So we're going to head on down there. We're not too far away and see what kind of snake she's got cornered and see if we can't catch it and uh, dispose of it for her. What's going on? Uh, I got a snake in my closet. You got a snake in your closet? Please, she'll take off. Okay. Um, <laughs> you got a, you got a snake in your? He's in that whole closet. It's a baby. It's baby black. It's, it's black and it's got orange and gold bands. Okay. All right. Do you he's need a, a towel or something? No. He's no. in there. He's right in here. Yeah. I can turn the whole light on. Okay. God love you guys. Where's he at? I don't know. I just saw him sliver in there. You saw him sliver in? Yes. Okay. No, he's got to be in here somewhere. He's got to be in here somewhere. Is he a glove or something? No, I don't think so. It's just a baby. It's a beautiful snake, but I don't want his ass in my house. <laughs> well, how did you I notice him? I can't help it, Mom. Where, I'm freaking out. Where did you notice him at? Was, was he just, I mean, was he, was he coming through the hallway? No, he was coming from the kitchen and in the, in the there. All right. Oh, my God. But he couldn't have climbed up the wall already, could he? I don't think he would have climbed up the walls. We sure climbed up the steps. How else could he got in my house? Could oh, he, he could have slid underneath this back door? Could have. Could have. Oh, i got to get some kind lots of snake of place, away or lots something. Lots of places he could have came in. He's not in your snake basket. <laughs> I got my mom itching now. <laughs> I think where he probably went, there's a couple spots in here. I think he probably... Might have crawled down in the basement. Yeah, he might be down in the basement. Oh, please, little snake. Oh, I don't think the snake would have 
would have or could have climbed up the, the wall there. So I think what he may have done is he may have gone down between the baseboards. There's a nice wide gap between the baseboard and the back here. You got a hammer? I could pull these baseboards okay. up for you real quick and check. So tell me, what, what were you doing? I was cleaning, I was rock and rolling, and I'm getting my act together here. Okay. And also. And I just walked through here and forgot I had to get something out of there, and no sooner I turned around, he, he curled right into that closet. I see him. Oh, God, I love you. I see his tail. Don't now I see that the snake, I see his tail, he's curled up back behind his piece oh, of baseboard. God. So I'm gonna have to take this other do what you piece do. of. All these woods around here, and he's gotta pick my cloth, find a home. Come on up, oh God, please. Okay, I don't see him. believe this tomorrow at work. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna believe it. Tell you what, let's go downstairs real quick. Might have crawled down in the basement. Yeah, you might be down in the basement. Oh my god, there he is. Where? Right there. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was that wire, that wire and it freaked me out. Sorry. Right, it's kind of moving. freaking me out. You're going to freak freaked out. I'm sorry. It's all right. So the snake's buried himself. We actually did a pretty good number on the, uh, the closet with her permission to try and locate the snake. But so far, we haven't been able to find him. Um, I really am kind of kind of afraid to go do any more damage to her to her house here. I mean, she was awful frightened about the snake. I really would have liked to have got him. Whew. Well, yeah, I'm sorry we weren't able to find your snake, especially after all the, the damage we caused to your, it's not a problem. To your wall there. But I'm calmer now. I'm gonna go take my shower. I got my cat, one cat at the edge of the bed, my dog, and I know I'm calmer now. I'm not afraid. I'll get him. Well, I'm glad as long of that. as he's not poisonous, I'll get him out. God love you. I'll give you a hug. Yeah, you're welcome. You guys do a fantastic job. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. All righty. Okay. You take care. You too. All right? You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'll be okay. Well, I feel bad for the, for the young lady because we tore up her whole closet and we weren't able to find a snake. Is he, is he's he? out. He's out. He's out. Look in the corner, in the corner, in the okay. corner, in the corner. I don't have my there flashlight. He there he is. Oh my god. Oh my god. You want this uh, wash rag? Or what uh, do you want to do? Isn't he pretty? Isn't he pretty? What is he? Here, put him I'm not exactly sure thing. here. I got oh my God! Oop, I don't want to be get... careful. Oh, jeez! You want my toilet thing? Oh God! Look at him. He's, he's wants to strike. Oop. Oh, be careful, please. Here you go. I got him. I got him. You got him? Okay, I'll yeah. get the door. We were on our way out the door after we uh, no, tore this young lady's closet all to pieces and weren't able to find a snake, and he decided to make an appearance as we were leaving. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what kind of snake this is. Um, I've never seen one he's like a that. Pretty little snake. Isn't he pretty? He's so just a baby. So what I'm gonna oh do? Oh God! I was too wrong on the colors. I'm gonna take too him wrong. outside, out into the, Where the hell did I get the yard, and just let him go. There he goes. Oh, where is he going? Well, I'm glad he decided to come back out before oh, we left. Can you believe that? I was going in there and I was just going to think, well, what am I going to do? I'll get, I'll get some of this dust up, and there he was, curled up. Well, it makes me makes oh! <laughs> it makes me feel better after I tore your closet all apart that he finally came out. We were able to get him. Oh God, love uh, you. Thank you. I like working on the crime response team over here in the East Division. We stay busy. 
with felons. We're always dealing with drug dealers, some gang bangers every once in a while. The good thing is we're responsible for all the part one crimes in the East Division. And we don't have to take patrol calls so we can concentrate on what needs to be done and, and taken care of out here. OK, we're en route to a burglary in prog progress. Uh, apparently, uh, as a citizen broke down, his truck was broken down the side of the road. And there's uh, some guys hanging around the truck trying to break into it. So we're going to go see what's going on. Supposed to be a couple of black males taking tires out of a pickup truck. OK, we're about to move in on this uh, vehicle with the guys. What kind of car are they in? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right here, right here. One in the black, one in the black, one in the black. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Get out the car. Put them back. Get out the car. Put your car in park. All right, sir. Get on the ground. Get your hands behind your back. You got cuffs? Yeah. Damn. Don't move. Roll back towards me. Stand up. You want to stick him in a secure car? Come on, please, sir. Please, sir. Please. Come on, please, sir. 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 Okay, these are the tires that the individuals attempted to take. Um, as you can see, they loaded them up. We got two in the back, one in the front. And they were going to, I guess, uh, make a nice little profit off of them. But uh, unfortunately, the police intervened, and we got them. So they won't be robbing anybody else tonight. That's good work. Tell me what was going on back there. Yeah, the dude told me if you use my car, he's gonna pay me to pay me in full to get them rims. He told me he seen the dude when he pulled up. He was like, man, go talk, go talk to him. He said, I'll pay you in full. Okay. I said, man, I just got this car, man. You trying to get my car stopped? I'm, man, so that's why I'm young, man. Money, I just, man, I just got a system in my car. Money rule the world, man. I swear to God, I got a job, a nine to five, and everything, man. Money talk, walk. I swear to God. I don't sell dope or nothing. I smoke weed, sir. Right. I heard a good amount of price. The dude told me give me five one hundred dollar bills, sir. I'm trying to but take. But still went through with price. that anyway. No, sir. That's, okay. I, he took one of the rims just to make sure I wouldn't steal the car. Where's still, he? I don't know. I I never seen him. He talked me into doing it. Okay. Right over there. All Bought right. me a six pack and everything. He was like, man, all I need is your car. I ain't got no car. Tell me he's calling the shop. Okay. I knew it had to be. Something Do you know this guy? No, I don't know the guy. Five hundred cash. You don't got to know the dude. And right. a six pack. Right. Yeah. Well, you've just gotten yourself involved in a felony. Now we can seize your car. Now it'll belong to the police department. I worked hard for that car. I paid $1,000 cash. Well, you know what? <clears throat> Whosoever wheels those were worked hard for those, and you just stole them. So what do you think about that? Man. It's the same difference. We take your car, you take those wheels. Except we're doing it legally, and you're not. Can I, can I call my mama, man? Right now, you're going to go down on a theft charge, 1500 to 20000 which is a felony. You're going to have to go down to jail. You'll see a judge tonight. He'll set your bond. And then you'll be de transferred down to the Mansfield jail. We're going to be held down there until you can post your bond. Do you have somebody you can call? Yes, sir. My mom will stay right down the street on 4 8 normal block. OK. Yeah, I was sitting right in front of my house a while ago. I knew something had to be up. Stick your feet in there for me. What we're going to do is put these tires back where they belong and uh, try to get in touch with the uh, registered owner of the vehicle. He probably, he's probably not too far away, seeing that it uh, looks like his truck broke down. Pretty sure he'll be probably he'll be thankful that he uh, recovered his property. If we don't find the owner of the tires and the wheels and the pickup truck. We're going to take it down to the auto impound and uh, we'll hold it down there for safekeeping until he comes and claims it. What's the story? What story? The story with them tires that we and caught you with. Yeah, it is. You ain't got to sit up in that crazy with me, okay? You ain't gotta act crazy. I ain't finna talk, yeah. man. I heard you saying he talked like a bird. I don't talk, man. I, I didn't say no. that. I heard it, man. You heard it? Yeah, man. Okay. So that's what just story you gonna stick with? The story I just that you said. sticking with. I ain't saying. You ain't saying nothing. That's a good thing, though. Don't say nothing. Yeah. He the ringleader.
his uh, his buddy told him that it was his idea and everything. So it's all going on him, because he won't say nothing to us. Thanks. Appreciate it. We had three out of the four tires were in the car, and then the second bad guy rolled this tire about halfway down the block behind this apartment building. He was. The deal that he made with the other guy was that he was going to keep this as insurance until he got all the wheels. So we'll go down here and take a look at that and recover that, get it back to its rightful owner. Here it is. Yeah, it looks like it's all intact, so I hope it's any. I guess he was going to possibly throw it over that gate where they have that hole in the wall. Yeah, it looks like these guys live in the complex, and maybe they've been scouting out this area and saw the guy broke down and walk away from his car, and they decided it'd be an easy grab, four wheels and tires. Now they just landed themselves in jail. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get into 2514, can transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3.